In this video, I'll show how to build an application using Framework B of Machine Builder Libraries. This is the physical model of Winder Unwinder application. The application has a unit module. Under the unit module will be four equipment modules for different functions. These two sections of machine can be run independent or under unit control. To have this capability, I'll add equipment supervisor and equipment modules under them. The application code for this section will be in another controller. In this, I'll add an equipment supervisor and two equipment modules under it. To interface the unit and equipment supervisor, I'll add the interface programs. The unit interface extends the unit so that its command exists in the remote controller. The equipment supervisor interface extends the equipment supervisor so that its status exists in the unit controller. The application will also have event capturing and language selection for the events. Though the application looks complex, I'll show how easy it is to build the application using Framework B libraries. I have application code manager opened here. The ACM has machine library registered. You need to download the libraries from Rockwell Automation product compatibility and download center page. I have already created a project. First I'll add the controller A. Add the shortcut name for HMI. Next, I'll add the HMI display. To add, right click on the display and click add. Select the framework B display ME. Click next. Select the display template as per FTVU version you are using. Click finish. Now we have controller and display added. Next, I'll add the unit module. To add, right click on the task and click add new. Select the unit module library object and click next. I'll name the instance as UN01 unit. Select true if you want pack tags to be created. To have the equipment indicator code added, select true to this parameter. I'll select true. The equipment indicator code can be instantiated in ladder or in functional block. I will leave it as ladder diagram. Since this is a multi-controller project, I will select yes for multi-controller. Since we need the event queue, I will select yes to this parameter. Select yes for language switching. This is the display resolution for FTVU ME application. Since the display is already added in the project, the ME associated display is already linked. Click next. In link library, this is the asset library for state model instruction. Create a new instance. Click finish. This is the asset library for tower lamp instruction. Create new. This is the asset library for event create instruction. This is the link library for event queue. Click create new. I will name the event queue program as UN01 events. Select the task where the program will be placed. This is the event queue size. I will modify as 50. This parameter means the HMI faceplate will display the last 14 events. I will modify as 20. Select the faceplate type. I will select as full display. Select the display where the navigation object will be placed. Click next. Click auto create to create the link libraries. Click finish. 
Next is to add the language pack program. Click create new. These are the languages that can be added in the language pack. Select yes for the languages to be added. Click next. Link the event queue with the language pack. Since the event queue is already created, I will select link to existing instance. Select U101 events. Click finish. Click finish. Now we have added all the link libraries in the unit module. Click finish to complete the instantiation of unit module. Next I'll add the equipment module. To add right click on the task and select add new. Select the equipment module library object and click next. Enter the equipment module name. Since this is the first equipment module, I'll keep the equipment ID as 1. This parameter is to include the simulation code. The simulation code is to simulate the state changes. These are the parameters to include the state routines for clear, initialize, run and terminate. I will leave it as true. Click next. Link the equipment module to the unit module. Since unit is already added, I will select link to existing instance. Click finish. Click finish to complete the instantiation of equipment module. Now I have added the equipment module for line control. I will follow the similar steps to add the rest of the three equipment modules. Now I have added all the four equipment modules under the unit. As you can see, each of the equipment module has its own unique equipment ID. Next I'll add the equipment supervisor for unwinder turret. To add, right click on the task and click add new. Select the equipment supervisor library object. Select yes to create the event routine for the equipment supervisor. Since we are already using language switching in the unit events, I will select yes for this also. Select the display where the navigation object for equipment supervisor faceplate will be placed. Since we already have 4 equipments under unit, this equipment supervisor will have a unique ID as phi. Since this equipment supervisor is part of the local controller, we don't need the remote control support. Click next. First link the unit module. Add the asset library for state model instruction. Link the event queue program. UN01 events. Now we have all the link libraries for the equipment supervisor. Click finish. Next I'll add the equipment module under this equipment supervisor. I'll select the equipment module library object.
since this is the first equipment under the equipment supervisor i'll leave the equipment id as 1 click next since this equipment module is under the equipment supervisor i will link the equipment supervisor in this place i will select u101 es100 and my turret click finish click finish to complete the instantiation of equipment module I will follow the similar steps to add the second set of equipment supervisor and equipment module. Now I have added the second set of equipment supervisor and equipment module. Next I'll add the interface program for the remote equipment supervisor. Select the equipment supervisor interface. Click next. Enter the controller name where the remote equipment supervisor will be placed. Enter the program name of Equipment Supervisor. The second controller name and program name can be browsed from the project browser if they are already part of the project. Since we have not yet added the second controller or Equipment Supervisor, we can just enter the name. Click Next. Select the Unit Module. Click finish to complete the instantiation. Now we have the interface program for the remote equipment supervisor. The next part is to add second controller and add the equipment supervisor and equipment module in it. Since this is a licensed version of ACM, I can add the second controller in the same project. In unlicensed version, you can create a new project for second controller and add the equipment supervisor and equipment module in it. For ease of understanding, first I'll demonstrate adding the controller in the same project, but I'll also show you how equipment supervisor will look when added in a separate project. First is to add the second controller. I'll name the controller as controller B. Click finish. Now we have the second controller. The first step is to add the unit interface. Select the unit module interface library object. Enter the controller name and program name of the unit. Since the unit controller and unit program are part of the same project, I will show you how to browse the same. Select controller A. Browse the program name for unit. Click finish to complete the instantiation. Next, I'll add the Equipment Supervisor. Since this equipment supervisor is on a remote controller, select yes to this parameter. Click next. 
in link library link the unit interface program for unit module add the asset libraries for state model and event create Since the equipment supervisor is in a separate controller, the event queue and language pack has to be created for this controller. Now we have all the link libraries added. Click finish to complete the instantiation. Now we have the equipment supervisor added. Next I'll add the equipment module. Now we have added the equipment supervisor and the equipment modules for controller B. As I explained earlier that the second controller code can be added in ACM as a separate project. Here I have created a separate project as controller B, added a ACM library for HMI and added a display for placing the navigation object. The rest of the steps to add controller, unit interface, equipment supervisor and equipment module remains same. In the unit interface, instead of browsing the unit controller and program name, I have entered the names manually. The application framework is now ready. You can start adding the libraries to develop the functional code of application. To understand further about generating the code and display, watch the ACM workflow basics video series. For more information, download Machine Builder libraries from Rockwell Automation website. Thanks for watching the video.